All right, hey everyone, uh, this is Patty, and I am from Crochet Styles. So I'm going to do a video tutorial for you on the uh, Sparkly Dish Scrubby, the, uh, the free pattern that we offer on our website. Uh, as you can see here, Hobby Lobby offers the Yarn Bee Scrubology Scrub It Yarn. They come in like, I think it's nine colors or something like that. I like it a lot because I've seen people use like tool and um, the like scruffy, uh, like red heart, scrubby type yarn. I don't really like those. This here, um, I like a lot just because it's actually made of like 100% nylon, uh, as you can see here. Um, and we use it all the time for our dishes, uh, and you can even use it for cleaning, which is awesome. Uh, and you can also get these on discount for like 30% off uh, when they have their sale every couple of weeks, um, or you can do the 40% off coupon. So it makes it pretty easy. And you can make about like four of these scrubbies uh, within one of these skeins of yarn, which is perfect. And I sell these at craft shows and just even on the side and people buy them like crazy. So um, other than that, uh, the things that you'll need are pretty much one of these uh, skeins. And then also a, I used a six and a half millimeter um, crochet hook. And as far as skill set goes, I would highly recommend that you're a advanced beginner or an intermediate crocheter who knows how to at least work in rounds. Um, the last time I did this video, um, there were people that were probably not to that skill set. So I'm gonna just make sure that that is very clear uh, for this video itself. Uh, as far as everything else goes, uh, any updates or changes to the pattern will be done on the website and as well as within the uh, description below. So make sure you check that out as well. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, uh, so in order to start this, uh, you're gonna do the foundation as pretty much the magic ring. Uh, so you'll go ahead and start that off. And for row one, you're gonna chain one. And then you're gonna do a half double crochet six times into the magic ring. So one. And then what I'll do for the pattern is, oops, sorry is that if it's pretty repetitive, I'm gonna zoom right through, but you will see in the description uh, within the caption uh, how many stitches are being done. Uh, you should know how to do half double crochets and half double crochet two together uh, as well. Sorry, sometimes I lose track of what I'm doing here. And six. So normally what I do is I cinch it down, there we go, and then into the first stitch, I'm going to insert my hook, pull through, and slip stitch. So that is going to be your round one. So it should be pretty much six half double crochets. Round two is going to be a chain one, and you will half double crochet into or two half double crochets into each stitch so that should be a total of 12 stitches in the end so that's pretty much what it will look like there and you'll continue on into each stitch doing two half double crochets uh, into each stitch all right so this is round two and you should have 12 uh, stitches. Next round, we'll go ahead and start. And so that will be one half double crochet into the first stitch, followed by two half double crochets into the next, whoops, sorry. Sometimes I lose track on here. So two half double crochets into the next. So you are going to repeat a one half double crochet followed by two uh, within each stitch. So there you go. So one half double crochet. And
All right, so for round four, you're going to do uh, a half double crochet in the first two stitches, one, two, and then on the third stitch, you'll do two half double crochets. There you go. So you're gonna repeat this one, two half double crochets and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. So this should be round four. Now we will finish round five or go to round five. So chain one, and then you're gonna half double crochet 24 times. So you're gonna do this half double crochet into each and every stitch of the round. All right, so this is pretty much uh, round five. Uh, you should have done 24 half double crochets and by this point you should probably see it like curling and I usually keep my tail end in the on the inside here as you can see. Um, but uh, I usually flip it over um, because you can see like this nice little like sparkly twirly look um, and that's something I truly enjoy. So normally what I do, you don't have to do this, is I just take that tail end and I just bring it on the inside so that I can have a pretty looking scrubby. Totally don't have to do that. All right, so now the next part is, is round six. And so for round six, uh, it's pretty much the reverse of everything uh, so that you can start your decreases. So we're gonna chain one and then you're going to do one half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the second stitch. And then you're gonna do a half double crochet decrease. Okay. And then you're gonna repeat this uh, for the rest of the round. So you go ahead and start round seven and it's another decreasing row. So you're gonna chain one, half double crochet into the first stitch. Okay. And then you're going to do a half double crochet decrease into the next. And then you're gonna repeat that throughout the round. All right, so we have finished up that last part of round seven, and then you'll go ahead and slip stitch into there. I should probably, honestly, uh, cut this piece apart here. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we'll do uh, round eight. So round eight will be a uh, chain one and then we will go ahead and do a half double crochet two together into all of the stitches here in this round. All right, so that finishes row eight and this is probably the most complicated part for everyone to do. So I slip stitch back into the first stitch and then I will cut off usually a little tail of six inches or so. And then I will tie it off as so. Okay. 
And then you can do this however you want, but usually with these scrubbies, um, I try and secure it as much as I can. So I just kind of poke into it randomly through the center and just keep tying it off as so, um, just to secure it quite a bit because I don't want these to unravel if I throw them into the dishwasher or um, as I am actually uh, dishwa or washing the dishes by hand. Um, so I try and avoid that. That's usually what I would do. And then I will cut a small tail off and then I will grab that tail and just hide it on the inside. And very rarely does that like ever do I ever <laughs> deal with one of those things coming out? So uh, that is the back side, uh, but this is the front side. And so this is the scrubby, and sometimes it can kind of come out like a weird like oval shape. Um, so normally what I would do is I'll just kind of push down on it and I'll put like, I don't know, we'll pretend this is a book. I'll just put a book sitting right on top of it or I'll just put it under my leg uh, and kind of squish it down and flatten it. But yeah, uh, this is the scrubby that I use all the time and we use it in our household. We never buy dish scrubbies from the store anymore. So um, hopefully um, this tutorial kind of gives you an idea of how I do the dish scrubby pattern. Uh, so if you have any questions, then definitely leave comments below or on our website and we can make adjustments as needed. Um, and, you know, I hope you guys are able to enjoy these. So thank you.